Hello and welcome back everyone. So today we'll be talking about how to clean up and divide your store tubers. If you don't live in the south where it's nice and warm and you can't leave them in the ground all year round, we have to put a little extra work in, dig them up so we don't lose our tubers. Now as you see here, I store them in a plastic bin with some wood chips. You can use vermiculite. One caveat, when you dig them up, wash them off, let them dry for a day or so, and then put, a, put them in your wood chips for vermiculite. That way they just don't go ahead and rot on you. Another thing you'll see here, I'll get a close up of it, is even with this new growth, it's starting to rot, get wet. And the reason for that, it, it was touching the edge of this plastic tote and it caused a rot. So just be mindful of that as well. Now, life gets busy. That's why they're still in a clump. But if you can, after you dig them up and before you put them in your tote, go ahead and try to divide them up. The new growth, they like look like little buds are so much easier to see. Little bugs everywhere and you dividing them in the fall, if possible, like I said, life gets busy, can help prevent a lot of rot. So today I'm gonna to go over what to cut off, division, what to look for to get it out of there so it doesn't rot the rest of your tubers. That way you can have beautiful tubers, or tubers, excuse me, dahlias in the fall. All right, everyone. So you got your tubers out of storage. Now this is the one where I said the new growth hit the plastic of the tub. You can see how rotten it is. I can go ahead and save that though. I'm gonna clear this all out, cut it out. That way I can save the rest of the flower buds, and get that planted. Now you see this big clump of tubers? So more tubers doesn't necessarily mean more flowers. There's a potential of flowers, but it's always nice when you can divide them and have that greater potential of flower spikes. So one thing to look out for when you're clearing, not just that, but you can see here, see how that's broken? It's just kind of hanging there. We're gonna to want to cut those off. There's actually two of them there. It's easier with a little bit of a pair of scissors. Snip them off, call it good. That's broken right there as well. You can see that, it's kind of, uh. That one is not broken at all. So we're gonna leave that. We don't need this long stem. So go ahead and trim that off. And that's where you get planted in the ground. If I wanted to, but I'm not, I could have cut it right down here in the center. Let it dry for a little bit and plant that out. Now, earlier on, I was talking about looking for the new buds when you dig them up in the fall and dividing them if possible. Let's see here. There we go. That's a little new bud right there. See how easy that is to see? It's actually easier in the fall to find these little new buds. And this tuber's not bad, but what I'm gonna do anyways is I'm gonna cut it right down the center and let it dry. I'm also going to cut off this top and save it. And that way I know what color it is. Always mark your tubers, whether it be the tub itself, it's one single one, or the little plastic tape we have there. But if you see, I'm trying to keep it focused here. I'll cut right down the center. Good tubers, nice and healthy. See how plump that is? It's not squishy. That's the old crown. And this will dry, so you don't really have to worry about rot there. But the bulbs themselves, or tubers I should say, are nice and firm. Because you definitely don't want rot. 
Now here's a good example of rotten tubers. This one needs to go. Look at that. Squishy. This right here, see how wrinkled it is? That just means it's dehydrated. It could possibly still be good. It's not totally squishy, so it's not rotten, but it's definitely dehydrated. Look at this. That's rotten. That's dehydrated. It's got to go because if you don't do that, you're trying to save all these tubers. It's going to cause the rest of all rest of your tubers to rot and to lose the whole deal. Yeah. So, going to go ahead, cut this, cut this. Let's see here. Cut this off. Cut this off. Cut this off. You see all that growth growth in there. Now, see that I'd take that out too. It's no big deal. I'm gonna take I'm trying to stay focused while I do this everyone. I apologize. So, take that tuber out because it is getting rotted. There we go. Now see how you don't have to be totally gentle. Plants are babies. I mean look at that. There's a little growth right there. Another one right there. So, hmm, what I'm going to do, this is a very big tuber, or clump of tubers, I should say, is get myself in here. Just cut straight in. Somebody may have different techniques. There's different techniques for everything, but plants can take some abuse. I'm trying not to cut my fingers here. And you will inadvertently sometimes cut off what you don't want to cut off. That's the old, oh, sorry. That's, that's the old stem right there. We've got a few more plants there. I can't really divide it too much because as you see, it's growing along all these tubers. But what I will do is go ahead and yeah, it looks like there's some growth there. I'm gonna trim this down so forces less rot. Go ahead, squeeze your tubers a little bit, not overly hard, hard enough. You can tell which ones would be bad. And think about dividing or reducing your tuber count as trimming a plant or say an apple tree to help keep, keep it healthy. Keep all the nasty funguses and stuff off it and it'll give you a stronger healthier flower and more flowers over time if I had divided this in the fall I could have potentially have at least two flowers there because two are coming off one instead of just one big clump so that's it I still have a lot to divide I have my work cut out for me here, I'm trying to divide this clump, get all rid of all this rot, see what's what. But you know what? It's worth it if it gives just healthier plants. And don't be afraid to get a little rough with, with these tubers. Divide them up, like I said, if you can in the fall. You see, you have a lot of pain in the spring, late spring, when you plant these out. Well, that's it, everyone. I wish you great success in your daily journey. Just remember, you don't need a whole bunch of tubers to have a whole bunch of flowers, but the division will keep your plants healthier, happier, and it'll allow you to have more dahlias for years to come, store them correctly, get rid of anything squishy, dehydrated. You know where these bugs are coming from, or just broken and your tubers will last a very, very long time. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, bye-bye.